What's good YouTube, it's your boy the 4th Cannon, I'm back with another video. First things first, I need y'all to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so y'all can be notified whenever I drop. Today we're going to be doing a low fade with a 7.5 on top. So this is what my client asked for, so I got my 7 guard and the lever is all the way open on my Mythic Clippers. Now typically with Asian hair, I'm going to be teaching you guys a lot about this texture today. Typically as you can see, with Asian people, their, their crowns typically are lighter when they wear a shorter hairstyle. So I'm gonna be using the seven guard with the lever open on his whole head, except the crown. On his crown, I will be taking my eight guard and closing the lever just to keep it a little thicker in that area and it will match up. With this hair, you have to go against the grain. You can never trim it with the grain. It'll cut patchy and uneven. I've never even tried it, but I just know it will. You have to go against the grain. So right here, I have my eight guard and I'm going against the grain in his crown area. And this texture is very tricky because depending on what angle you look at the hair, it looks bald, but it's not. It's just because the hair is spiky and it's facing towards you. Now we're going to be setting our first guideline with our detachable clippers. So, so this is my five out blade, I believe. And as you can see, he had a natural, naturally high arch around his ears. So that's why I did suggest a low fade when I first cut his hair. He's been a consistent client of mine for a couple months. Right under that, we're going to clean up the rest of the hairs with the trimmer and we're going to take our mythic clipper and start our first guideline we're going to make these guidelines very com compact and very tight the goal here is to get a nice tight low fade so i'm going up about three quarters of an inch with my lever open next i'm going to close my lever completely going to open it up as I go up. So right here, it's closed. And as I inch up, I open it little by little. Now I have my one guard, the lever is fully open. I'm flicking out towards the top though. And right under that, we're gonna close our lever with the one guard. Now this is our wall one guard. I find this one works way better than the Andis one guard. It cuts shorter. So once again, I have my lever closed right under that. And we're going up right below the line. Now I have my wall premium half guard. And I'm playing with that lever once again. Usually I'll leave this guideline for last, but I decided just to get it out to keep it simple for the tutorial. So as you can see, I'm playing with my lever. This texture may seem like it's extremely hard to cut, but it's really not. Once you get the hang of it, it's all about guard work. You can do clipper over comb with this texture, but I find that it gets a little tricky for me. So I tend to just keep it, you know, within my guard range. Um, of course, if you have a longer style on top, you have to use clip over comb or scissor over comb. But, you know, he has a short length on top. It's a seven and a half. So we could fade it in with guards. So right here, I have my five guard and the lever is fully closed. And I'm going to start this transition. Next, I switch to my four guard and I'm doing the same thing, just going up a little bit lower under that five guard area. And now I have my three guard. And the lever was closed at first, but then I'm opening it up towards those dark spots up there, as you can see. Now, this is just going to prepare us for the two guard, which is going to be the most important guard in this process because that's really going to bring this fade completely together so 
So this is my two guard. And as you can see, I'm going straight up at first, but towards the top, I'm kind of flicking out because this hair is tricky to fade sometimes. Um, you really have to go against the grain, but sometimes you have to crossfade it. If you guys don't know what crossfading means, it kind of means going sideways against the hair pattern growth, but sideways. So not against the grain, but like cro across it. It's strange, but it works. It's very effective. And we're actually gonna be skipping using our one and a half guard today. It's not really necessary all the time. So you're gonna wanna take your one guard again and kind of flick out, but be very gentle with it. And the reason why I skipped it is because I knew the one and a half guard wouldn't do, wouldn't get this faint line out. So I just decided to save myself some time and just got it out with the one guard. Next, we're gonna do some detail work with our three guard. And as you can see, I'm going across right here. That's cross fading right there. And now I have my two guard and I'm working towards the back. I just seen some dark spots that I didn't really like. And now we're gonna go in with our no guard lever open. And we're using our corners. And I'm opening and closing my lever, just hitting out some dark spots that I didn't really like. And this is called like refining and like smoothing your fade out. And this is a, an important step in cutting different textures like this. And the final step, you're gonna wanna take your shavers and bald out the bottom part. And this is gonna get a real bald under to make the fade last longer. And now we're just gonna detail the other side before the lineup. I've been trying to get more videos out consistently. Um, I just came back from vacation. I'm actually in the process of upgrading my barber studio. I'm gonna put a backdrop in there. It's gonna be dope. So stay tuned, got a lot more content coming. Now we're gonna be prepping his hairline. So we're actually taking our five guard. The lever is closed and we're going against the grain. You cannot go with the grain on this texture. It'd be a disaster, I'm telling you guys, you can't. Then I switch to my four guard. I'm just flicking. This is really gonna prepare the hairline for the shape up. Now you wanna comb everything into place and then spray a little bit of hairspray, not too much. And you're gonna wanna blow dry that into place and then get started on the shape up. So as you can see, I'm holding my clipper. You don't wanna cut the overhang. That's something I learned, especially during this cut too. Um, you don't wanna cut the overhang. The overhang is the actual hairline. So if you cut the overhang, the hairline will be bald, it'll be patchy. So that's something I learned when dealing with Asian textures. You have to be careful. Um, it doesn't really matter what blade you use. You could use a thinner blade or a deep tooth blade like I'm using now. They both will work just as effective. I just personally like deep tooth blades um, when dealing with different textures, you know. And his, his C cups don't naturally match up. So I do have to push one back slightly um, to match up the other one. And things like that you wanna consult your client with. So we're getting started on his other side of his lineup, staying consistent with the blade, holding it at a certain angle. And you just wanna follow their natural line. You don't wanna push them back. Um, And on these type of lineups, you do have to use scissors. So we're here, as you can see. So I'm cutting hairs that you guys can't see, the camera can't pick up on it because remember how I said the hairs, like cutting Asian hair is tricky because different angles, you'll see hairs that you don't see from the side. And from the side, you'll see certain angles that you don't see from the front. Now we're taking our shavers. This is basically a substitute for the razor and we're going up on his forehead. And now we're gonna spray some enhancements for that final touch. And 
is really gonna make his hairline pop. This is something you also have to consult with your client. I asked him if he wanted any, he said sure. And after I spray enhancements, I always wanna go back and retouch it up. Sometimes the enhancements can like, you can overspray it, so you have to like touch it up. And right now we're just finishing up the shape up. As you can see, it's symmetrical, it's sharp, it's straight. And we're, we're just finishing up his hairline. We're not really focusing on the overhang because you have to have some type of overhang or else after the enhancements fall out, his hairline will be bald. So we're gonna do a quick comb check. And as you can see, everything's staying in place. And we're just gonna hit that line up one more time. He's in there, as you can see. Crispy fade, crispy shape up. So this is how my client came in. And this is how he's leaving the studio. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Please follow me on Instagram at the fourth Ken. And it's the fourth Ken and I'm out. Thanks for watching. Peace.